<laughs> hmm, what will I be up to today? Whoa, the ocean! Whee! I can't see a thing! How am I supposed to study the ocean with all this water in the way? Duh, what if I drained the ocean? Hey, Geofriend, I just wanted to warn you that I'm going to drain the ocean. What? No, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I'll put it back when I'm done. No, 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 no. Goodbye, water. Draining the oceans is a huge mistake, Cosmo. What would happen to the animals? Wow. People have discovered around 230,000 different marine species. But since so little of the ocean has been explored, scientists think that there could be two million more species waiting to be found. Aquatic animals are adapted for life in the water. Some animals, like jellyfish, have bodies that need water to keep their shape. Fish? use gills to absorb oxygen from the water. And gills can't work on land. Flamingos use their strange beaks to filter shrimp and algae from the water. If we drained the oceans, we would immediately lose over 90% of life on Earth. Would I still be able to breathe? The ocean is filled with plant life. Most plants are tiny algae called phytoplankton. Phytoplankton produce over half of the oxygen that animals, including humans, breathe. If we drained the oceans, lower oxygen levels would make it difficult to think clearly. And even walking up the stairs would leave you exhausted. What would people eat, Cosmo? Around the world, approximately 3 billion people rely on seafood as a primary source of protein and nutrients. Seafood is delicious and nutritious, plentiful, free, and can be caught with very simple equipment. If we drained the oceans, many people would go hungry. How would I get my stuff? Hmm. Have you seen a Made in China sticker? Over 25% of all goods made worldwide come from China. How did that object get from China to you? On a boat. Almost all traded goods are moved in massive cargo ships. In 2009, there were over 53,000 cargo ships crisscrossing the ocean. If we drained the oceans, goods would need to move in airplanes trains and trucks, which are much smaller and more expensive. What about the water cycle? Oceans are an important part of the water cycle. Liquid water evaporates from the ocean and becomes clouds. Rain forms in the clouds and falls back down to Earth. <laughs> the rainwater flows into lakes and rivers. Lakes and rivers then empty back into the oceans. If we drained the oceans, the water cycle would stop and the Earth would become a lifeless desert. What about the temperature? Oceans absorb heat energy from the sun, especially at the equator. The warm water flows north and south and cool water returns to the equator. This constantly moving water prevents any place from getting too hot or too cold. If we drained the oceans, the average temperature on Earth would climb to 153 degrees Fahrenheit. What a disaster! Who suggested this simulation? Cosmo. Oh, my bad. There, I put the oceans back. Bye! Bye, Cosmo! Hmm, which chapter should I research next? Cosmo! Hey everyone, Cosmo here. 
Many of the foods we eat have traveled around the world to get here. And many traveled by boat. What if you could see how many countries your food comes from in a week? Step 1. Find an adult. Step 2. Gather your supplies. You'll need a map of the world. Step 3. Make a prediction. How many countries will your fruits and vegetables be from? Step 4. For one week, every time you eat a fruit or vegetable, peel off its identification sticker. What country is your fruit or vegetable from? Step 5. Place the sticker on the map on the correct country. Step 6. At the end of the week, count how many countries you've collected stickers from. Was your prediction correct? Happy exploring, and I'll see you next time on What If Kids. Goodbye!